Hi, I'm Beckett from Courtside Sports and today we're talking about the new head G360 Plus Prestige MP. So the Prestige MP has received a lot of big changes for the 2020 model year. They changed the head size from a 95 up to a 98 and the beam width got a little bit more narrow from 21 millimeters to 20 millimeters. Now these changes were designed to help the Prestige MP stay relevant through today's modern game. That said, Head's new Prestige is still a very classic, buttery smooth feeling racket. It definitely delivers on that classic head feel, but gives you a little extra forgiveness for today's game that demands more spin and more power. All right, so let's start talking about our five categories. Power, spin, stability, control, and feel. So this is a super control oriented racket, so its power score is going to be a little bit lower. Score of five. There are two primary statistics that keep that score down. The first is the stiffness number. So at about a 58 strung stiffness RA, it's quite low, so you're going to get a lot of racket flex on ball impact, which means there's not as much energy transferred back into the ball, which is what we feel as power. The second thing is the thin beam, less thickness, that just seems to always translate to lower power. I think for what this racket is, a score of 5 is absolutely what it needs too much more powerful and it would be stepping on the toes of some of the other rackets in Head's line like the Speed Pro. I think this racket just delivers what it's supposed to deliver. Alright, so for spin, once again, not the top priority of the Prestige line. I definitely was able to generate spin when I needed it, top spin. Slice was unreal with this racket. I really like the thinner beam rackets, the tighter pattern rackets for those really knifing slices. This racket was just a complete treat for any of the slice shots. It was nice on volleys too. You could really cut a little bit of spin, make sure the ball is skipping away from your opponent to help finish points, or make that passing shot just a little bit harder. All right, so stability was honestly right where I expected it to be. At 320 grams unstrung, you're going to get some inherent stability just from that mass so the stability score was eight i rarely felt like i was getting pushed around against bigger hitters or in situations where the ball was a little bit out of my strike zone i think the extra mass really helps the racket carry through the ball it didn't feel like it was the kind of mass that was really slowing down my swing which i really appreciated off center hits weren't amazing and i think that reason is because of the lower stiffness. So when you hit the ball a little bit off center, you are going to get the racket to flex a little bit. So that is going to create a slightly less stable experience outside the string bed. But again, considering it's great feel, I didn't have a big problem with that. All right, so for control, this is one of the most control oriented rackets I have ever played with. A score of 9, near perfect on control. I think really the thing that was holding it back in terms of control was the flex was so much that sometimes I felt it wasn't always the most predictable on like big top spin shots, but that's just for my game. If you hit more flat, this is really going to do a great job. So the string bed is very evenly spaced. It's not super dense in the middle and then very open on the outside. It's evenly spaced, which gives you a very predictable response. That's something I always appreciate for control-oriented rackets. If you did hit the ball in the middle of the string bed, of course that lower stiffness is really going to give you a long dwell time, which to me increases the feeling of control, so that's something I also definitely appreciate it. All right, so feel is where this racket shines the most. It is the thing that the Prestige line is most known for. So when they announced these changes going to a little bit of a bigger head size, a lot of people are a little bit worried, you know, is this the end of the Prestige as we know it? We're going to a 98 now, this blasphemous changes. Despite these changes, it feels like the Prestiges are supposed to feel, you know, in the past, since they announced the graphene technology a few years ago, a lot of the old Prestige users were a little bit unhappy with what they had done in terms of stiffening up the Prestige MP, but this one is soft and buttery and smooth. So this racket, like few others, receives a perfect score of 10 for feel. Alright, so what rackets would I compare this to? 
Definitely the Yonex V-Core Pro 97. I think the V-Core is a little bit more control oriented uh, with a very, very tight string bed and really control oriented feel. And this is gonna give you a little bit more free power. I would also look at the Blade 98 1820, another very soft racket. That is definitely more powerful than this one, and it's lighter, so depending on what your needs are, if you have a more modern game, you'd probably prefer the blade. Definitely want to check this out. If you're a more advanced player, if you get a flatter ball, this would be awesome. If you really love slice and dicing your way on the court, if you hit volleys a lot, have more of an old school game, this is definitely worth trying out. Special code for all the viewers out there, the internet people, use coupon code MAY10 to receive 10% off almost all regular price items. Use this code on the Prestige MP, it's a super awesome racket. And we'll see you next time with another racket review or instructional video.